Hello, and welcome back to Grandma Susie's Kitchen. I'm Grandma Susie. Today we're going to make some keto blueberry jam. And it's keto is a kind of diet that you can go on that has low carbs, moderate protein, and high fat because the fat has to be good fat. It has to be saturated fat like butter, cream, olive oil. Those are the best fats to use. And then you can use a moderate amount of protein and no sugar and no corn syrup. Those things are eliminated from the keto diet. The benefits of the keto diet are that it reduces inflammation. Sugar is very inflammatory. So if you can cut the sugar out of your diet, you be will become much healthier. You'll find that your brain function improves, your physical health improves, your aches and pains go away, no arthritis. And I even noticed that my eyes had improved, my night vision improved once I went on the keto diet. And my, you know, starting of arthritis, that went away completely. I don't have any pain at all. Because sugar causes inflammation and inflammation is, inflammation is what causes pain. So, and also your feeling of happiness improves if you avoid sugar. So let's go out in the garden and pick some blueberries and I'll show you how to make keto blueberry jam. Okay. Okay, so a lot of the berries have ripened since the last time we made a video. So we'll go ahead and pick them. Picking blueberries is very relaxing. It's a very enjoyable thing to do, to grow blueberries and pick them, to cook your own. And if you grow your own fruit, you can control whether or not you use fertilizer or pesticides. These were grown using an acid-based fertilizer you know, especially made for azaleas, blueberries, and other acid-loving vegetables and fruits. But I don't spray it with anything, any toxic chemicals. See, it doesn't really need to be sprayed. It doesn't have any diseases. So that's what it looks like so far. Okay, we picked enough blueberries. It's probably a couple, two of those. We can put them in the sink and add water. I just rinse them off very well. The colander has holes in it, so it drains the water right away. You can also go to an extra step of soaking them, which you probably should do to get rid of any ants that might be on there. Okay, the berries have been soaking. There weren't any ants in there. Looks like they were pretty clean. Now we're going to put them into a colander. And drain them. Then we'll take and put them into the pan on the saucepan on the stove. And we'll add a cup of water to it. And turn on the heat to medium. When it comes to a boil, then we will turn it down and let it simmer until it thickens. So you need to watch it at first to watch when it boils so you can turn it down. Okay, now the blueberries are boiling. We can turn down the heat and let it simmer until it thickens to a gem consistency. Just turn it down to 
very low setting. Okay, that's a slow boil. It's called a simmer. Okay, it's been simmering for a few minutes. I'm going to add four packets of stevia. It's a artificial sweetener. It's really a natural plant sweetener, but it has zero calories and it's not sugar. So I just said four packets of stevia. I already snipped the ends off of these packets. Then I'm going to mash it with a potato masher to break up the whole berries. We'll let that thicken a little bit longer. Okay, I think this is getting thick enough now. You can allow it to thicken longer and make it into a jam, but I'm going to use it for a syrup. I really like blueberry syrup on my pancakes and on yogurt. So I took it off the stove and I turned off the heat. I'm going to put it into the serving bowl. Then I'm going to put it on some yogurt. Yogurt's really good with blueberry syrup. One thing about yogurt, it has active live cultures in it, so you really want the blueberry syrup to cool before you add it to your yogurt, but it makes a good topping for yogurt. Mmm, that's really delicious. I like to take this to work with me. It's keto, doesn't have any sugar in it. It's really good. It's like a dessert. So until next time, this is Grandma Susie. Have a good day.